I like to think of an if-then statement as a little machine. It can test all possible inputs. Each input may register as OK, meaning the statement checks out for that example, or it may be a counterexample, meaning that example shows that the statement is false. The statement is true if all the allowable inputs register OK. It's false if there's any possible input that is a counterexample. Here's an example. If x is an odd integer, then x squared is an odd integer. The possible universe of things we could put into x is infinite, but I'll put a few examples. 7, 8, pi, root 3, sock. Now let's use our little machine. Let's put in 7. In this case, x equals 7 and x squared is 49. The hypothesis, underlined in blue, is x is an odd integer. For this example, this is true. The conclusion, underlined in green, is x squared is an odd integer. For this example, this is also true. Since we obtained true, true, the machine reports OK. Let's try 8. x equals 8, and x squared equals 64. So our hypothesis is false. The conclusion is false, too. For false, false, the machine reports OK. Let's try pi. x equals pi, and x squared equals pi squared. So our hypothesis is false this time because it isn't even an integer. And the conclusion is false too. The machine reports OK. Now let's try square root of 3. x equals square root of 3, and x squared equals 3. The hypothesis is false again, but the conclusion is true. But that's OK. Finally, we could try the sock. x equals sock, and x squared equals, well, sock squared doesn't make any sense since we haven't defined the meaning of squaring for socks. So the hypothesis is false, a sock is not an integer, and the conclusion is actually nonsense. But that's OK, too. The only type of input that would register as a counterexample is if the hypothesis were true and the conclusion were false. That would be an example of our statement failing. For this statement, in fact, there's no examples I could try that would cause the machine to read counterexample. That's because the statement is, in fact, true. But since there are infinitely many examples to try, I can't do that by exhaustive checking. I need a proof.